So joining me now is Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb to talk about the latest development. Avi, I've been listening to every talk that you've been given over the last several months on this particular object. Tell us, you don't believe that this is an asteroid or a comet? No, I think it's quite unusual. It's not like the comets or asteroids that we have seen from the solar system. So it's just like finding a, an object from the street in your backyard. and. It doesn't look like a rock that you are familiar with, so we should all be curious. And in this case, it could have implications to humanity if it is technological in origin. So we can't just uh, dismiss the possibility that it's technological because the other possibility is more likely. We have to consider it seriously as a possible black swan event. A new cosmic visitor has entered our solar system. Discovered on July 1, 2025, the interstellar object known as 3I Atlas has already stunned astronomers with its mysterious behavior and unusual appearance. On October 3, as it made its closest approach to Mars, China's Tian-1-1 orbiter captured the first ever images of the object using its high-resolution imaging camera, HIREC. Though the images appear faint and fuzzy, they represent an extraordinary achievement, humanity's first visual record of an interstellar comet seen from another planet's orbit. The TN11 observations, taken from a distance of nearly 29 million kilometers, revealed a bright, compact nucleus wrapped in a diffuse gas-filled coma stretching thousands of kilometers across. For most comets, such a structure would be expected, a core of ice and dust sublimating under solar heat. But in this case, what the images revealed only deepened the mystery. The Hyrick camera's 38.7-centimeter mirror was smaller than that of NASA's HiRISE telescope. Yet it still captured subtle variations in brightness and structure that hinted at highly localized activity, possibly jets or outflows around the comet's core. The fact that these features were visible at all, given the distance and faintness of the target, made the observation remarkable. Now, anticipation across the astronomical community is reaching a peak. NASA's Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter is poised to release an even sharper set of images from its high-rise camera, which boasts a 50-centimeter primary mirror and a much higher resolving power. These images, expected any day now, promise a side-on view of 3i Atlas's tail and anti-tail, a unique perspective that could expose structures within its jet system revealed the geometry of its outflows and possibly constrain the size and shape of its nucleus. If successful, the upcoming dataset may provide the most detailed look yet at a visitor from another star. But to understand why these new observations matter so much, one must look at what the earlier data already hinted at, a set of anomalies that appear to defy simple explanation. The most striking of these involves the orientation of the comet's jets, thin, bright streams of material emitted from the nucleus. For a typical comet, as it spins, these jets are expected to appear smeared or curved when captured over long exposures. The rotation of the nucleus distributes the jet's directions, blurring them into broad fans of light. Yet, in the case of 3i Atlas, that expected blurring never appeared. Stacked long exposure images taken in early November 2025 show narrow, perfectly aligned jets extending over a million kilometers into space, as if the object were stationary or its jets were somehow stabilized against rotation. This is inconsistent with what is known about 3i Atlas's spin period, which was measured earlier that year to be roughly 16.16 hours. Given that the gas emitted from the surface likely travels at several hundred meters per second, the material forming those jets would take about a month to travel the distances seen in the images. Over that time, the nucleus should have completed dozens of rotations, causing the jets to appear as diffuse spirals or sheets. Instead, they remain tightly collimated and unwavering. This anomaly, now considered one of the defining mysteries of 3i Atlas, challenges conventional comet models. If the jets were powered purely by solar heating of surface volatiles, the emission should track the comet's spin and solar illumination. But their apparent stability suggests something else might be at play. Perhaps a sustained directional outflow or a non-gravitational mechanism maintaining their orientation. The jet's geometry might even hint at internal processes not yet understood. 
such as magnetic collimation, structural confinement within fissures, or complex surface dynamics unlike any seen before. Beyond the jet behavior, other peculiarities add to the intrigue. The object's trajectory through the solar system is retrograde, meaning it travels in the opposite direction of the planet's orbits. Yet its inclination to the ecliptic plane is remarkably small, only a few degrees. Statistically, this alignment is exceedingly improbable. It suggests that the object entered the solar system in nearly the same plane as Earth and Mars, maximizing opportunities for observation, but also raising questions about how such a path could occur naturally. Spectroscopic analyses have hinted at unusual composition as well. Early data suggested a nickel-to-iron ratio inconsistent with ordinary comets, along with relatively low water content. This points to an origin in a different kind of protoplanetary environment, perhaps one where metallic elements condensed more readily or where ices were depleted during formation. Combined with its high speed and elongated path, 3I Atlas may carry material from an ancient planetary system whose chemistry and temperature gradients were entirely unlike our own. The Tianwen-1 images, though limited in clarity, have already provided valuable constraints on the coma's brightness distribution and the possible shape of the nucleus. The diffuse light suggests active outgassing, yet the overall faintness implies a relatively small active surface area. This could mean the nucleus is compact and dense, perhaps only a few hundred meters across, with activity concentrated in discrete regions rather than a uniform surface layer. HiRISE's upcoming observations are expected to refine these estimates dramatically. From its orbital position around Mars, the camera can capture a side view of the comet's tail and anti-tail, the latter being a visually deceptive feature that appears to point toward the Sun due to the geometry of dust particle motion. With a projected resolution of around 30 kilometers per pixel, HiRISE will be able to map the brightness gradients along these tails and identify the distribution of ejected material in unprecedented detail. This level of spatial resolution could reveal whether the jets originate from single vents, multiple regions, or perhaps continuous layers of outflow across the surface. However, the release of these images has faced delays, bureaucratic hurdles and data processing backlogs compounded by recent interruptions in government operations, have slowed public dissemination. Scientists close to the project have indicated that the data are already in hand, awaiting formal clearance. The anticipation is palpable, as each day's delay feeds speculation about what the images might reveal. For astronomers, 3i Atlas represents both a challenge and an opportunity. Its behavior cannot be neatly categorized within established comet models. Yet its accessibility, visible to telescopes from both Earth and Mars, makes it a natural laboratory for studying interstellar material up close. Unlike previous visitors, which were either too small, too fast, or too inactive to study in detail, 3i Atlas is active enough to leave a measurable signature, yet stable enough to track across multiple months. Some scientists have drawn comparisons between its anomalies and those observed in earlier interstellar objects. The first such object, 1i Oumuamua, exhibited non-gravitational acceleration without any visible tail, sparking debates about its nature and possible artificial origins. The second, 2i Borisov, appeared more like a conventional comet, but with unusually high velocity and dust production. 3i Atlas seems to blend elements of both. It behaves like a comet, yet its physical and dynamic properties refuse to conform to simple natural explanations. If HiRISE's new images confirm that the jets truly remain stable and directional despite rotation, that would have profound implications. It could suggest the presence of internal coherence mechanisms, such as localized magnetic fields rotationally locked out gassing, or even mass redistribution effects that stabilize the emission axis. Alternatively, the observed phenomenon might arise from geometrical alignment. The possibility that the comet's rotational axis and jet orientation happen to coincide, producing the illusion of stability. Either way, the discovery would force a reevaluation of how cometary jets evolve especially for bodies formed under different stellar conditions. At the same time, the data may shed light on the nucleus's physical state. 
If the jets are narrow and highly collimated, the nucleus must possess solid, confined vent structures capable of channeling gas in consistent directions. This would require relatively cohesive material, a compact body with strength greater than that of typical porous icy comets. On the other hand, if the jets appear diffuse or fan-shaped in the upcoming images, it could indicate a fragmented surface undergoing rapid erosion as it interacts with sunlight. Both scenarios offer valuable clues about the object's origin and the environment from which it came. Another key mystery is the observed stability of 3i Atlas's light curve. Photometric monitoring has shown that its brightness fluctuates only slightly despite its rotation and changing solar illumination. For a highly active comet, this is unusual. Variations in sunlight exposure should cause periodic brightening and dimming as different surface regions vent gas. The consistency suggests that the active regions are either symmetrically distributed or that a global process, perhaps internal heating, drives uniform outgassing. Astronomers are also eager to study the interaction between the jets and the solar wind. Interstellar objects like 3i Atlas travel through the heliosphere at extreme velocities, encountering charged particles that can reshape their tails and generate plasma emissions. By analyzing the structure of the anti-tail and its alignment relative to the sun, researchers can infer the balance between solar radiation pressure and the particle flow from the nucleus. This could reveal whether the dust grains are electrically charged, magnetically influenced, or propelled by non-thermal forces. The coming high-rise release may also reveal subtle asymmetries in the dust tail that could indicate rotation-induced torques or changes in activity over time. If the images show evidence of fragmentation, such as discrete bright clumps or separated nuclei, it could suggest the 3i Atlas is undergoing structural failure, breaking apart under thermal stress. Such events would provide direct evidence of how interstellar bodies respond to solar heating, offering a glimpse into their mechanical properties. And soon, as those high-resolution images are revealed, we may find that 3i Atlas, the latest visitor from the stars, has brought with it not just cosmic dust, but the next great puzzle of modern astronomy.